Hey guys, welcome to Off Topic. I'm Rachel Bonetta. Today we have some serious business to get to. You know, it's not always going to be fun and games here. We are going to tackle something that I think needs to be addressed. Something that is long overdue here at Major League Soccer. We here at Off Topic are committed to fair treatment for all, including mascots. So welcome to the first ever Off Topic MLS Mascot Power Ranking. That's right, I paid money for a journalism degree. I am ranking the hardworking, underappreciated MLS mascots according to our highly technical mascot ranking algorithm. Can't tell you how the algorithm works, it's proprietary, but trust me, it is extremely accurate. Here we go! Starting at the bottom is, and I am so sorry to do this to you, but I'm gonna have to go with Columbus Crews SC. Son of the former crew cat, this guy is brand new this year, so I'm just gonna put him at the bottom of the list, because, you know, too much success too soon can lead to an even bigger head than this guy already has. SC, I'm sure you have a very bright future ahead of you. Right up. Next up, this was a tough decision for me. The Colorado Rapids' four mascots. Edson the Eagle, Marco Von Bison, Jorge El Mapache and Franz the Fox. This fearsome foursome was introduced in 2007, each obviously representing an animal naturally found in the Rocky Mountain Arsenal National Wildlife Refuge, of course. The previous mascot, Rapid Man, retired in 2007 after serving the club since 1996. The Rapids certainly get bonus points for having the most mascots of any team, but it's, it's definitely a hard-ranking four mascots at once. Sorry, guys. Next! pains my heart to have to do this, but this is a personal decision. I'm going to have to go with Bitchy the Harris Hawk from Toronto FC. I know, I know. How could I do this to my team? Listen, I placed Bitchy near the bottom purely from my fear of birds. They have a hidden agenda, okay? We'll not be discussing any further. Let's move on. Vancouver Whitecaps. Their mascot goes by the name of Spike. He enjoys fish tacos. His favorite song is Shake Your Tail Feather. Now Spike is a great mascot, don't get me wrong. He looks great, he's got a great personality. Just remember the algorithm doesn't look kindly on birds. Sorry. Let's go ahead and stay in Canada with Montreal's Tactic the Dog. Get it? Tactic. That's a sports joke, people. Clever name! Soccer ball is a hat genius, speaks French, strong, strong mascot game here. But as resident Twitter mascot expert Maxi Rodriguez says, he's a little too goofy, a little too Philly fanatic for my taste. Next is DC United's Talon. He's an eagle, of course, even though he recently got a makeover. You know, slimmer, more athletic build, nose job, works. He's looking great, but once again, he's a bird. Sorry, let's move on. Up next is Blue the Dog from Sporting KC. Woof. As you can tell, dogs are doing much better than birds here. He's friendly, plays well with others, and he's housebroken. It's not to like. Moving along, let's go to Houston and Diesel, or shall I say Star Fox in disguise, okay? The dude just looks like Star Fox, which is a good thing in my books. Plus, he's got a PhD, Foxy Heroics degree. I didn't write that, I don't want to be blamed for that joke. Coming in hot in that next spot is Leo the Lion from RSL. I gotta give props to this guy, okay? For Christmas back in 2012, he slapped on some tights and walked around Utah trying to spread some Christmas cheer. Who doesn't love Christmas? He may have scored higher on this list if his tights weren't so tight. Think about the children, Leo. Think about the children. Sparky from Chicago Fire brings us closer to the top of the list. Who doesn't like a good old Dalmatian? I can think of one person. Cruella de Vil. Sparky has been with this team since the very beginning back in 1998. And like most Dalmatians, he's a very loyal dog. He even does the team laundry. All right, next up is the mascot for San Jose Earthquakes. He goes by the name of Q, and he is a... I'm not quite sure what he is, but he's not afraid to mix it up with the best of them, including David Beckham. I think that's instant mascot legend status right here. All right, we have made it to the top five. One step closer to that top spot, coming in at number five is Kingston, the mascot for Orlando City SC. This guy roams around the Citrus Bowl looking somewhat fierce. Do not mess with this line, okay? That's why he's so high up on the list. I don't want to get on his bad side. Hey, buddy. Looking good. Keep up the good work. Just don't come to New York, please. 
Number four goes to the one and only Mr. Tex Hooper from FC Dallas. An MLS original around since 96, Tex Hooper is a seasoned performer and a cultured renaissance bull. He enjoys great movies like Oh Brother Where Art Cow. He does office work, he's a weather bull on TV, and he is real smooth with the ladies. Number three was actually heavily influenced by you guys. I got a lot of tweets voting for New England's very own Slide the Fox. At Brian Turnboo 11 says it should absolutely be Slide. He's an absolute fox. Smart guy and he's funny. He's got over a thousand followers on Twitter. Even DC United follows him. That's kind of awkward. Slide is a wily veteran in the mascot game. Real crowd pleaser and a true professional. Okay, number two brings us to our only human in the rankings, Portland's Timber Joey. What a guy, he's got a chainsaw, he's a lumberjack, so obviously as a Canadian, I love that. Human mascots can be controversial, but everyone loves Timber Joey. And of course, much respect to his predecessor, Timber Jim. And that of course means number one goes to LA Galaxy's Cosmo. He is simply out of this world. <laughs> Cause he's an alien, people. Look at that bling bling! He's racked up a few of those rings, and I'm also really shallow and like jewelry, so of course that weighed heavily in our algorithm here. Plus, no other mascot could really look this good in a taco. I had a chance to spend some quality time with Cosmo on his last visit to New York, and we pretty much became BFFs, slash, we got engaged. That escalated really quickly. 